everybody. What is going on today? We're gonna to be playing some Skamaz one turn combo blood sail raider, blood sail raider, gore hell, charge, wombo combo, faceless manipulator, brand, bronze beard. And actually, just if you want, you can take a screenshot of this amazing deck list. I got it from a Maz, but I'm pretty sure he didn't make it. I'm pretty sure he took it from someone because I s I've seen that deck list before on like Trollden's videos. And then here we have my own. It's kind of taking the same tools as that other Warrior RTK. Except the differences are, as you can see, uh, just take a look at that. And this is pretty okay. This deck is pretty refined here. It's gone uh, through some multiple, a lot of testing. We should put it out of the beta. We just put it at like 1. 1. 1.0 because it's pretty good. Harrison is kind of a flex spot. Like before, I originally had two Nomishes, and then I took out a Nomish and put in an Elise just in case my one turn combo failed. And yeah, I just put in Harrison because there aren't really con there aren't really that much control matchups in the dumpster ranks. Yeah, dumpster ranks. I mean, uh, rank 16, which I'm currently at. I got to rank 15 with this. I won like six in a row from rank 17, and then like yeah. So, anyways, let's explain this. Basically, you just stall early game. It's really good against aggro because it has all the like warrior tools. Essentially, double unstable, doomsayer, this, that, that, this, this. And we have Belchers, Harrison's good versus Paladins, and some Hunters and mirror matchups too. Jessica Carter is good against aggro. Alex draws if you even survive, then you just get like restore 10 health or something. Really good early game. Bash, armor, you know. We have 92 drops. And you just stall to a late game until you get your combo and kill them. With Alex Straza. And that's pretty much it. And like if you're facing a fatigue deck like Fatigue Warrior and they'll have like 10,000 armor, just use Elise and use your Golden Monkey. Uh, use your Golden Monkey after you like after you use your combo of course. Because you don't want to waste that combo on random yeah. legendary. And we're using the legend card back to show these dumpster noobs that we're not some random dumpster trash deck builder that's trying to inspire. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Druid is probably... Actually, I don't know. I don't know how Druid fits in my mashup uh, scale thing. I think Druid is okay. Bash? Like... Okay, we're gonna keep Bash in case he puts down the darn ass Aspiring. Oh, two weapons! I didn't expect to get a weapon. But yeah, it's Doomsayer is just good overall. I faced an aggro druid last game and like a few games before, so that's why I'm just gonna assume he's aggro druid. Come on. Yeah, so he's not. Yeah, he's a roper. He must think. Oh, there we go. There we go, Frost Giant. That's that's not really a good draw. Anyways, yeah. <clears throat> the reason why Frost Giant is good in like Warrior OTK decks, because Warrior, you're going to be using your Hero Power a lot, anyways, right? Hero Power, you're going to Hero Power like a lot. Especially in control matchups. Freeze Mage, you're going to Hero Power like almost every turn. Well, not almost every turn, but a lot. A lot. Like, a lot of returns. I'm just gonna, uh, do we want to bash or do we want to coin? No, we don't want to coin. Bash cannot really be useful. Okay, turn 5, he could play Judah of the Claw, um, and Fall Reaver. Never mind, just pretend I didn't say Fall Reaver, but probably Judah of the Claw or Belcher. Ah. Alright, that's fine. That's like irrelevant basically. Treat that as a 0 0 with Divine Shield, because that's not going to do anything. Because that whittle away at our armor. Belcher, okay. So then we'll throw down this. The end is indeed coming. 
So he has to swipe to get rid of that. And which is a pretty bad use of his swipe. Or Wrath. Wrath Hero Power, which takes up a lot of mana. He's gonna do it. He's gonna swipe. Druids have nothing to play on turn 8, so... It's... This is not really a threat now. I think just build sure. Get this damage so we can use our weapons. Alex is pretty good in this matchup, like in this current state, because I don't think we're gonna damage his face. And I don't think we're gonna need it to be defensive. At least I hope not. Okay, uh. That's. No. No, uh, War Axe. Oh my gosh, dude. Please. I think we just death by that didn't say uh... <laughs> hmm I wonder like he chooses to run this okay I am I think he's running this over shade shade of Naxxramas because why would you run two of these and two of shades I wonder like eh. this is faster of course but Mm, maybe he's a fast mid-range druid, and he runs two combos. That's that's annoying. Uh, we don't want to. I don't want to Thorsten because Thorsten's good for a combo. Or can, uh, we could just play War Axe. Oh, there's a second deck, uh, I mean, uh, Acolyte. Hmm, well played. Hmm, well played. Hmm, well played. Uh, I apologize. And we got this cool little overlay from uh, Tracklebot. It's a free service that tracks your decks and cards you play and match history and stuff like that. And also got this cool little uh, super trigger finger Call of Duty thing, which allows me to draw in the sand, kind of. Look at that. That's annoying. Uh, uh, okay, shield block. Coin Alex? Let's do it. Let's do it, boys! Please, no. Okay, what's bad? Combo is pretty bad because he probably runs two. But BGH is probably the worst. Wait, do we die to combo? 27? No, we don't die. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Why do they always have BGH in their hand? Like, they always have BGH. And they only run one copy, too. And, like, they don't even draw half their deck up. Execute. Uh, yeah. I mean, do we draw first? Because we don't have anything that restores health, so it doesn't matter. Right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. BAM! Execute Belt Chore. Dang, that lowly squire value, where do you get that from? Oh, that was from his uh, raptor. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. So generally, you want to draw a lot with this deck. But we haven't been drawing at all. Because we've been dealing with his threats. And we have not drew drawn? Drawn a single brawl. Not even one brawl. We just need a brawl. Like uh Come on man. Uh he probably has he hasn't used a keeper yet, so that's not very good. This, this, here how We don't have any armor, armor, my armor smiths, and we don't have any armor smiths because they don't really do anything for us, unless we put in battle rage and then something like that. Yeah, nah. 
There's his keeper. Indeed. Taskmaster. Wow! Standard. Standard. Is he running a standard deck? I, I can't tell. Is Darnas Aspirant in GVG or TGT? I think it's in TGT. Uh, I don't even know. No! One turn too late. Ah, oh, that hurts so much. We had to do it. I'm mm, starting to think that you it's not a good matchup because they have too many big threats. And you can get like three minions on the board and just kill you with the combo. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. BM, stop BMing me. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I choose death. He didn't kill me, I chose it. Greetings. Let's play another one. What is going on with my hearthstone? It's like, why is it? I feel like I'm on mobile. Because this screen always gets stuck. Hello? Help me! I'm clicking! Can you see I'm clicking? Uh, Alright, I'll be back. 